Hi, today we are going to see skin marking of first dorsal metatarsal artery flap. As we all know, the management option for defect of the distal foot, especially the first day defects, is usually restricted because of poor skin quality and also restricted number of local and random flap options. In many cases, coverage with skin graft is not suitable because of exposure of bone or tendon. The first dorsal metatarsal artery flap is useful for the reconstruction of distal foot that is dorsal medial side of the foot defects. The grade 2 is subjected to 60% of the load applied to the entire set of toes while walking. It is vital to preserve the grade 2. A local regional fasciocutaneous flap is used which is the FDMA flap for which the anatomic details like first and second metatarsal bone outline following outlining the first and second metatarsal bone. The dorsal spidis artery is palpated and its location is marked. The dorsal spidis artery branches out into first dorsal metatarsal artery and first dorsal metatarsal artery continues as a dorsal digital arteries to the great and second toe. The dorsal spidis artery which also branches lateral dorsal artery and medial dorsal artery and 1 cm distal to the torso metatarsal joint the FDMA is formed and it has a proximal and distal communicating artery between the first dorsal metatarsal artery and first plantar metatarsal artery. The flap can be raised based upon either communicating artery as a perforated fashion. Usually, we aim to close the skin primarily. So, the breadth of the flap is almost 2.5 cm and it can be taken up to 5 cm. The length varies from 5 to 8 cm depends upon the defect size. Assuming the defect is over the dorsum of grade 2 and we are planning reverse defection of first dorsal metatarsal artery flap. The flap is based upon the distal communicating artery which is between first dorsal metatarsal artery and first plantar metatarsal artery. It will be lying in between the first and second metatarsal head approximately and which can be confirmed using handheld Doppler. And this is the template which is taken up for the defect over the grade 2 which will be propelled based upon the distal communicating artery and you can also appreciate the arc of rotation of the flap which is raised based upon it. You can also benefit from the operative video which we have uploaded. Thanks for watching.